We've all been taught that it's only skeletons that can fossilize, and only in the most rare cases are soft tissue fossils to be found. But what if we're all paradigm blind, and the soft tissue fossils are actually all around us, but instead of fossils, they take the names of other things like crystals, opals, geodes, agates, or stones. So again, this is a whale brain, also a whale brain, petrified brain with quartz crystal, corpus callosum, the brain is made almost entirely of fat. This is the corpus callosum. This is where the, the greatest amount of blood flow is in the brain. And this may also be a petrified brain, and you can see it looks very much like glass. So if we're going to use the term vitrified, I'd say that would apply here as well. But here's another thing to consider. We've got all kinds of different brain sizes and types, shapes. If you look inside the skull, there are all kinds of different shapes that could emerge from the different skull types and different brain types. I ran across this. It may be that it's not a brain, but what about opals? What if opals are petrified fat? So what if this was originally brain material? Now this is a geode, but consider this. This is a bladder stone from a 95 year old. They can be as large as this in a human. These are drawings of different kinds of kidney and bladder stones. Note the rings. They grow like rings of a tree. This is a gallbladder, and these are gall stones. These are geodes, and each one of them inside is crystalline. Looks a lot like that. These are kidney stones. So what if what we think of as opals and agates are actually the petrified remains of gallstones, kidney stones, fatty tissues of different types in the body. They do have a very biological look to them. These are agates. Again, the kidney stones and the classic geode. 